Welcome, everybody. Good afternoon. Bride and groom are grateful for your love and support. We're going to get started in just a minute. If you have cell phones, please silence them at this time. Um, my script says have a seat, but you're already seated, so way to be ahead of the game. We'll get started here in just a sec.
Please rise to honor the bride. Dearly beloved, honored guests and friends, we're invited here today because of the strength of love and promises kept to share with Jen and Brett a very important moment in their lives as they open a new chapter filled with support, laughter, loyalty, friendship, and love. This is a day when two lives become one, when two halves become a whole, when two very best friends have the absolute privilege of becoming a husband and a wife. Jen's crying, Brett's crying, it's making me cry a little bit. So. <laughs> but we're just getting started. Good, good job you guys. Jen, Jen, Brett, the commitment you are about to agree to represent a promise you make to honor the love and friendship you have already grown to trust the goals and commitments you share, to respect one another as individuals, whether you're together or apart, and to spend the rest of your lives together. This, you, this union allows two separate souls to share all of their desires, dreams, and memories, their joys and sorrows, with no fear of judgment, knowing that their love for each other will help guide them through all the uncertainties of life. 2020 is hard. It happens again in 2030 or 2040, heaven forbid, you got your person to lean on, okay? And that's at the root of all of this. So what we're about to do is symbolic of many things. The wedding ceremony consists of a number of symbols that are designed to remind you of the pledge you make to always turn toward each other, not away, to always work through your struggles rather than run from them, to always pause, breathe, remain centered in your mutual respect for each other anytime you may lose sight of your love. There's a lot of distractions out there, okay? You just need to remember who you're doing it for. Expressing these vows today is evidence of the trust and faith you have in the constancy of your friendship and the confidence that the direction of your life will take. Inviting your loved ones to witness these shared promises signifies a commitment to your relationship and a shared conviction that you are better together than you are apart. And the wedding ring itself serves as a reminder of the wholeness of the love you share, unending, 
undying nature of your devotion, the eternal bond between you. Rings are a forever token of your love. Wear them always. You have to take them off sometimes. Always put them back on. When you're away from each other, reference them and be reminded of your love with them, okay? Can we get some rings? Can we hear it from Craig? That was a good job, I think. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Well. Okay, why don't you guys take, take your respective rings? Correct. Don't put them on yet. This is what the ring exchange represents. I promise to give you the best of myself and ask of you no more than I can give. I promise to respect you as your own person and to realize that your interests, desires, and needs are no less important than my own. I promise to believe in you, supporting you in all you do, to encourage you and inspire you. I promise to share with you my time and attention and to bring you joy, strength, and imagination to our relationship. I promise to keep myself open to you, to let you see through the window of my world into my innermost fears and feelings, secrets and dreams. I promise to grow along with you, to be willing to face changes in order to keep our relationship alive and exciting. I promise to love you in good times and in bad, with all I have to give forever. Why don't you guys put those rings on? Okay, the bride and groom have now elected to honor these promises with a paint unity ceremony. We're gonna do that over here, to your right, to our left. Every marriage starts as a blank canvas and every day is a splash of color. The blank canvas represents the day of the wedding and a new beginning. The colors represent the bride and groom's milestones, their celebrations, tribulations, passions and dreams and themselves. Just like life, so is this painting. You are two different colors now on one canvas. There will be places on this canvas where the colors blend and mix, flowing together, creating a new color of experiences shared. There will be places when the colors stay separate, standing out alone and independent, yet still a complement to the other color by its side. This too will happen in, in your marriage and, and is what creates the masterpiece. However, when you step back and look at the canvas in its entirety, you will see that it is clearly an original masterpiece. Unlike anything you have ever seen before, each color, contrast, shadow, and blend are unique to just the two of you. Okay, remember those things, okay? What you just did and said, what you just performed, this unity, that's important, and how you feel today is important, okay? Remember that. Some last words of advice. Please remember now that honesty, teamwork, hard work, compassion,
amazing sense of humor. Those are the pillars of a happy and enduring home. Love each other as you are. It's not a competition. They're saying, that's me, that's me. <laughs> I'm better than you, that's what they're saying. Continue to grow together, work together. <laughs> this is about partnership. As time goes on, always return to the foundations upon which your love has long since been built in order to remain true to your partnership and the commitments you have made to each other today. Okay? Again, lots of distractions. Just always fall back on some good stuff. Okay? As you grow your friendship and your family, those distractions are going to come. Never forget to enjoy the adventure. Always look for ways to celebrate. Continue to look for ways to nurture your friendship and your relationship, your marriage with shared joys, both simple and complex. And that will ensure you have an amazing life together. That said, when the hard times come, look, I don't know very much about anything at all. Hard times come, this is what you need to know. Okay? <laughs> there aren't very many things that saying I love you can't solve especially when it's hard. There are not very many things that swallowing your pride and being wrong, even if you know you're right, Brett, <laughs> that's gonna solve a lot of things. It's gonna solve a ton of stuff. You just gotta be wrong sometimes for the relationship, okay? And everybody knows that I'm right. There are not very many, <laughs> there are not very many things that giving somebody a big bear hug won't solve. Okay, you're not gonna want to, you're gonna wanna hit. Jen, you're going to want to hit this guy so many times. You just got to hug him instead, <laughs> instead, okay? That's going to solve a ton of stuff. It does not need to be more complicated than that. Having a partner to walk through this world with is an honor. Not everybody gets a soulmate. Take care of that. It's a privilege. That's your, that's your little baby. You take care, really good care of that. Okay? Stick by each other. Lean into your friendship. Even when you don't want to, probably especially when you don't want to, you got to lean into each other, okay? Fight for the relationship. Fight for each other, not against each other. Okay? Got it? They've, all, they've agreed to all of those things, so this is going to be an absolute success. Okay, we have a, a, a Shakespeare reading now. Please join us. Is this, is this okay? Or do you want me to stand? Okay. All right, they gave me the version that everybody will understand, so that's nice. I would not admit that anything could interfere with the union of two people who love each other. Love that alters with changing circumstances, not love, nor if it bends from its firm state when someone tries to destroy it. Oh no, it's an internally fixed point that watches storms but is never itself shaken by them. It is the star by which every, ship, every lost ship can be guided. One can calculate its distance but not gauge its quality. Love doesn't depend on time, although the rosy lips and cheeks of youth eventually come within the compass of time sickle. Love doesn't alter as the days and the weeks go by, but endures until death. If I'm wrong about this, then I've never written anything and no man has ever loved. Love, Shakespeare tells us, isn't something that wears itself out over weeks, months, and years, but remains firm right through the lives of the lovers and doesn't end, until their doesn't end with their death, but continues until the world's end. Point of no return, right here. Ready? <laughs> Jen, do you take this man, Brett Matthias, to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold, for better or for worse, in sickness and in health?
for richer or for poorer, in good times and in bad, committing yourself unto only him, for now and forever. I do. <laughs> Brett, just, Brett just took a deep breath and was like, yes. <laughs> Brett, do you take this woman, Jen Weidrich? 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 I should have done that before. I'm so sorry, everybody. That's totally my fault. Weidrich, to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold for better or for worse in sickness and in health, for richer, for poorer, in good times and in bad, committing yourself unto only her, for now and forever. I do. guys, you made it. <laughs> Congratulations. By the authority vested in me by the state of Utah, I'm pleased to pronounce you husband and wife. Brett, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to present for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Matthijs. Congratulations. <laughs> gentlemen wedding party is now going to take some pictures if you're part of that you probably need to rally back there in the back otherwise uh, if you want to hang out and you want to congratulate them here you can hang out here for a minute over here on this white table though that's an important little table over there there are, there are validations for you to get out of the canyon without having to pay so you want to grab one of those little yellow validations and there's also a program that has the address to the reception center that's down in sandy and uh, kind of a schedule of events that's gonna happen for the rest of the evening. So you probably wanna grab some of that stuff. Otherwise, um, you'll be able to congratulate them at that reception center area. Okay, thanks very much for your, for your support. Um, have a great night.
quick announcement. The bride would, and bride and groom are asking that 